Bora. No, I didn't watch it. It's like, I can't vote, and like, it's just so much going on anyway. It's super stressful to watch it. Yeah. Hello, Trojans. Welcome back to Front and Central. I'm Olivia Edwardson. And I'm Greg Haggerty. Coming up on today's show, we'll find out more about cold and flu season, take a look into the recent academic awards ceremony, and take a peek at the football team's trek to Brother Rice last Friday. Fall is notorious for his reputation as flu season, and with many students and teachers catching all kinds of cold symptoms, our reporter Gabe Miller decided to investigate the kind of impact the plague of the common cold has had on Central High School. Reporting for Front Central, I'm Gabe Miller. It's getting colder this time of year and flu season is upon us. The flu can have detrimental effects to your work here at school. Let's see what kind of effects it can have. Uh, it is a big hindrance to students learning when they're not in the classroom, especially in a language class because so much of what we do in the classroom is practicing our skill of speaking. So to be out of class for any extended amount of time is really detrimental to a, um, a student's quest for fluency in the language. It affected me because I had to sit out like a game in the season and I didn't like to do that. And in school it's just, I don't know, I've had to miss school and which makes me get a lot of homework and that's not fun when you have a lot of homework to catch up on. Um, in my French 2 uh, course we have teams that our students are on and so when there are students that are consistently absent their team suffers um, and it's harder for them to come back and jump into a competition and compete for their team. The flu can be devastating to those who catch it. Let's see what we can do to prevent it. Uh, wash your hands and um, make sure you're not sharing water bottles and I know a lot of the teachers including myself keep our dust or try to keep the dust clean and sprayed off the best we can so it's my best advice. Don't come to school sick, because then other kids get sick. Wash your hands, uh, eat your fruits and vegetables, and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I would recommend to people who are sick that they should stay home until they are fully uh, cured and can't spread their disease to other people. During this winter, let's all try to stay healthy and flu-free. And remember, if you do get the flu, don't come to school. This has been Gay Miller reporting for Front and Central. Earlier this week on Monday, the academic awards ceremony took place. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors with a 3.5 or higher GPA had the opportunity to receive an academic letter, bronze pin, silver pin, or gold pin. Congratulations to all students who are awarded. Now let's get to the scoop with sports with Jessica. Hi, I'm Jessica Auger here with this week's coverage of TCC Athletics. Last week, the varsity volleyball team had a BNC matchup against Alpena. The Trojans were looking for their first home game win and looking to build some momentum going into playoffs. From the beginning, it was clear that this was a pretty even match. The girls had to go into a fifth set, which if you don't know, was only up to 15 points rather than the usual 25. But I didn't take the win at 14 to 13, Maddie Partak roofed Alpina's hit right back at them and scored the winning point. As you can see, the ladies were pretty happy with their win. The girls also headed to West for their last match of the regular season on Monday. This is the second time we have played West this year, and the first time did not end so well. These girls did not want this to happen again, but unfortunately we lost the game 0-3. The football team had a very close game last Friday down at Brother Rice. Let's head to Jack to see how it went. Thanks for joining me here in Birmingham, where the football game between the Central Trojans and the Brother Rice Warriors has just completed. The Brother Rice Warriors were ranked number five prior to tonight's matchup, and our very own Trojans were ranked seven. It was a very hard-fought game, unfortunately for the Trojans, looking for their 16th consecutive regular season game. It didn't turn out for them. They lost in triple overtime. It was 20 to 17. Absolutely wonderful game. I'm glad I got to see all the parents and the students that came down here. Great numbers. I loved it. Key players for tonight's matchup, though, were Devontae Walker on offense, absolutely stellar tonight, and Fitz Dowd and West Agreement on defense, absolutely wonderful backstopping the uh, Brother Rice advances. And I think the star of the night tonight was Gabe Pickett with the absolutely perfectly timed field goal to tie the game in the remaining seconds of the first half. Now the game would stay deadlocked at 10 up until overtime and like I said it took three overtimes to crown a victor. An absolutely crazy game, 
Back to you in the studio. And finally, the varsity soccer team took on West in the first district playoff game on Tuesday. Not only is this a crosstown rival game, but this will determine who will continue in the playoffs. Central has won seven games this year, and West has won ten. And the Trojans were looking for their first win against West in two seasons. As you can guess, this game was pretty important to Central. The game started off pretty well for the Trojans. A quick goal from West was easily answered by our own AJ Samba, and the game would remain tied 1-1 one one until the last minute of the game when the Titans scored the winning points with 1 minute and 45 seconds left. What a heartbreaker. Our keeper Charlie Douglas had a standing night though, and if you see him, make sure to congratulate him. The freshman goalie stopped 8 shots on the night, which is basically unheard of. Also, congratulations to the rest of the soccer team for having a great season. And shout out to all the seniors for their leadership this year. That wraps up sports for this week. Good luck to the football team headed to Cadillac tonight. And make sure to tune in next week to see highlights of volleyball senior night against Petoskey. And that's all for today, folks. This has been your weekly dose of Front and Central. With Olivia Edwardson. And Greg Haggerty. Be sure to tune in next week for our extra spooky Halloween episode. Thanks for watching. All right, we did it. Whoa. <laughs>